I love this game. But what I don't love is their developers. Like, genuinely. When I'm thinking about this game, I think about its beautiful aesthetics and, beautiful and fun gameplay. But what I can't stop thinking about is how incompetent the devs can be sometimes. Uh, I just... Th this game will die eventually. Uh, I we, we all know that. It happens to every game. They all die. But some games die faster than others. And I know for a fact this game will succumb its fate by the devs. Because the devs have been very incompetent. So after Virginia dropped, I gave it some time to think about it. And I've basically come to the conclusion that this patch is basically dog shit. Hear me out. Virginia her kit is fun and all, but it's $10. That's like the minus part. $10 for an individual character while the family counterpart has not arrived yet. And I know for a fact there's gonna be losers saying don't be poor, but okay. But I pay $10 for a character that has a fucking broken skill tree and which cosmetics aren't even accessible yet. How retarded is this system of developing? How? I swear, asymmetrical horror games have such great potential and have such good gameplay sometimes, but it just always gets fucked over by greedy fucking devs, it's insane. If the so-called content that we have to pay for $10 for has a bugged skill tree and a broken cosmetic set which I can't even access yet even after playing Virginia 1000 times already, then I do not justify $10 for this shit. Of course, you can't know unless you buy the product itself, but if you still haven't bought Virginia, you probably know this at this point, and I'm basically telling you to refrain from buying her. Because one, I've proved my point, skill tree is broken and cosmetics are broken. Second, you're gonna queue a long, long time to get into a victim lobby. Three, there's not even a chance you're gonna get Virginia. Someone's gonna snatch it, other people's gonna request for it, and if you decline, they're gonna quit because they, they, they wanna profit of their $10 as well. But then, you have bozos that that develop this game, like Matt here, is just beefing with other people on Twitch. Or no, Twitter, sorry. So, instead of focusing on production, you are busy fighting off stupid comments on Twitter that are either rage bait inducing or just purely trolling. So, what are you doing, sir? Are you actually developing your game or are you just shit-talking people because they hate on your product? Because not gonna lie, you look like the perfect example why fruitcake... The word fruitcake is an insult because you genuinely look like a fruitcake. Anyway, sorry. Mm -hmm. Fruitcakes aside, the mail. We've talked about Virginia, now it's time to talk about the mail. I gave it my thoughts for a little bit, I, I I was gonna wait for a week to give my honest opinion about it, but the, the basement is a nightmare. I have never seen so many barricades and crawl spaces so close to each other. It is safe to say that this is basically Slaughterhouse 2.0 before it got changed. The masculine urge to just lobby dodge the map is crazy. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I don't lobby dodge, but... I. People are really starting to act like it's the new slaughterhouse, and I don't blame them, because it's it's awful, it's awful, it's awful. I've never seen a map with so many crawl spaces, and oh my god, it's so fucking awful, bro. The basement is hell, people agree, some people say Virginia's OP, which I don't really agree with, but where the fuck is the map balancing on this bitch? Where the fuck is the new family member? <laughs> Uh, this is this is just a poor example of poor production. We we didn't get 50% of our promised content, which was a family member. And if people already really hate this patch, then oh boy, I cannot imagine how bad it would have been with the new family member. <sighs> like even if he got a new family member with this. Just imagine how many bugs he will bring in, along with the current bugs we have and this map. We don't, we do not know how the new family member plays out, but this map is just heavily unbalanced. I, I hate to say it. it's heavily unbalanced. I'm not one of those uh, people that just lobby dodge just because one, I kind of want to enjoy my forty dollars that I've wasted on this game since the release date. But at the same time, I kind of want to enjoy my experience and not be like, Oh boy, not this map again. This is gonna be a shitty nightmare. Now that I'm basically done over with the current patch we received, they have made some very questionable changes in the past as well. Fuck the grapple mana. Fuck that bitch. First, it, well, it used to be fun, but now it's just wacky bullshit. I just hate it when I'm playing shirtless Johnny and just every victim wants to touch my biceps knowing they're just not gonna die at all because they either have grappler or... 
they have a victim on standby, or they just know that my trigger finger is not itching right now. As I said, they made some good changes, but like things like the grapple meta, the choose flight change, which I'm actually with it now, with people saying it, it was a bad idea to change the perk. Now, it did need change, but it got nerfed too hard. I agree with that part. Now, now that I really look at it, I agree. Because, trust me, a lot of people have definitely been slacking since the choose flight change, because they really relied on the three stamina bars, which was ridiculously overpowered at that time. But they could have done something better with it instead of just giving one token. And they were hard on it, I agree now. Before I was like, yeah, fuck that perk, but now I'm like, okay. Same for Bomb Squad, I t it, it was kind of stupid at first, but... I feel like the token stuff just... It's a stupid system. I genuinely hate it. As I said, they made good changes, but I'm going over the bad changes, because this is like a fucking rant right now, because I am tired of this game, or just any potential good horror game that is from the asymmetrical horror genre, that's just in bad hands. Now, watch this. So when this game was bound to come out, people were saying there's gonna be Dead by Daylight's killer. I was definitely not one of those people. This game is, in my opinion, way more fun than Dead by Daylight, till this day. But it will never kill Dead by Daylight in popularity, because Dead by Daylight has like a such strong player base to the point it's just unkillable, and it's probably gonna remain on the number one horror genre game ever. But at the same time, I just hate developers of Dead by Daylight as well. Behavior, it's just... <sighs> Every asymmetrical horror game has a curse of having shitty developers. I do not care what anyone says. There's a new project coming up from Elphonic called Killer Clowns, which I will be covering as well soon, because it actually looks like a fun game. But I, I've also seen people made the comments of saying that Killer Clowns will kill Texas Chainsaw and Dead by Daylight. Texas Chainsaw, yes, maybe. That, that could be a potential thing. But Dead by Daylight, no. The game is being developed by Elphonic, uh, Friday 13's previous developers, along with Predator Hunting Grounds' previous developers, which they have abandoned the game because it just sucked ass, in my opinion. But the thing is, Elphonic is hit or miss, in my opinion. I feel like Killer Clowns could be doable, but it's the same rule as in 3 Killers and 7 Survivors, and I know for a fact that the game is gonna create a toxic cesspool of shitty toxic people already. It can kill Texas Chainsaw, I believe in that, but it will not kill that by daylight. And whether you agree with my statements or not, I will be ending the video for the day. Just leave your comment, I'll be sure to read them. And yeah, that's it for today's video. To be honest, I'm giving Texas Chainsaw about like... Six more months before it really starts to come into its fate of dying, because I'm tired of pretending it's not. I love the game, but developers suck. Thank you for watching, and have. Oh, sorry, I was stretching. Have a good one. See you later.